computer models of two viruses that scientists are battling to bring under control. On the left, coronavirus. On the right, HIV. But why have researchers found a vaccine for one and not the other? The answer lies in the proteins that allow each virus to thwart the body's immune system. They have developed des manteaux de protection pour en gros passer de façon anonyme. Donc pour SARS-CoV, celui-ci mute assez peu. Pour HIV, c'est clair que le virus mute tellement qu'en fait une stratégie est vraiment extrêmement difficile. The HIV virus mutates inside every person it infects, making it harder to target because it's constantly changing. A riddle that Bernard Verrier has been trying to solve for the past three decades. After years of fruitless efforts, could messenger RNA, used to develop a COVID-19 vaccine, provide the answer? You will see that it's very, very simple, it's completely automated, and we need just a little tiny machine. The machine produces the RNA vaccines that transmit information the body needs to arm itself against infection. On a donc produit notre vecteur pour transporter les ARN messagers. For years, many thought using this kind of technology to create vaccines would come to nothing, but that was before the coronavirus pandemic. On va pouvoir tester des hypothèses très très farfelues, très innovantes qu'on ne pouvait pas tester avant. Et en plus, on va avoir des financements parce que personne n'y croyait. One of the theories being worked on includes a cocktail of vaccines using messenger RNA. Whichever idea comes out on top, there's hope that a HIV vaccine is within reach.